Hi, this is Christian, and welcome back to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, the Hall of Fame game predictions. Football is finally back for 2018, and it kicks off as the Chicago Bears take on the Baltimore Ravens at the Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton, Ohio. Now for the Chicago Bears, they look reinvigorated on offense, particularly Mitchell Trubisky in his first full season as the starting quarterback, it would seem. And he'll get some new weapons. We already know about the two-headed monster of Jordan Howard and Tariq Cohen, both great running backs. Cohen, a third down back, gets passes out of the backfield, and then the workhorse in Jordan Howard, of course. But they added some new weapons. In the draft, they added Anthony Miller out of Memphis. And then in free agency, they added Trey Burton, of the tight end part of the Philly special, as we know, in Super Bowl 52. Then Allen Robinson, the star receiver from the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Taylor Gabriel, a 5'8 slot receiver from Atlanta who made some big plays the past couple years. And so the Bears, I mean, I think they could be a pretty good team. Now, will they make the playoffs? That's going to be hard to do in a tough NFC division and conference, I should say. But you never know. I mean, 8-8 eight and eight isn't out of the question, and they could be having a bright future sooner rather than later. Now, for the Ravens, they have some off-season additions of their own. Now, they pretty much destroyed their receiving corpse and put in some new guys, Willie Sneed, Michael Crabtree, John Brown, replacing some of their other receivers that just couldn't get the job done. And disappointing receiver Brashad Perriman, who they drafted in the first round, maybe can get some action as well. But the Ravens, I mean, the big story here, Joe Flacco, I mean, he, he'll probably be starting, but, I mean, you look at it, and Lamar Jackson, it's only a matter of time before he gets his due. They also have Robert Griffin III, who they added, but I don't see him being part of the long-term picture. Now, who will win this game? I'm not really sure. It's the preseason, so it's anybody's guess, but I'll take the Chicago Bears to win this one. For the rookie spotlight, let's take a look at Sony Michelle out of Georgia and the New England Patriots' first round draft pick. Now, the Patriots really haven't had a workhorse running back. I mean, they've had guys like LeGarrette Blount and Deion Lewis, James White, Brandon Bolden, Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, if we go back that far. But they really haven't had the guy that just completely carries the load. And Bill Belichick might like it that way, and it could be that way. But I feel like Sony Michelle has all the potential to be a star in this league, if you give him 20 plus carries, he could be the next great running back. We talk about Saquon Barkley as the great running back for the Giants and well earned. But Sony Michelle could be a diamond in the rough, even saying that being a first round pick. And if they give him the rock, I think he can perform very well. And if the Patriots get a great running game to complement their great passing game with Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, Julian Edelman and company, then who knows, the Patriots could be back in their third consecutive Super Bowl. Since we're on the topic of the Chicago Bears, the player of the week, Mitchell Trubisky, the UNC quarterback in Chicago Bears. Now, the Bears, I mean, they have no excuse not to be better than they have in the past three or four years. Mitchell Trubisky has so many weapons now and Matt Nagy has made sure of that. I mean, Tariq Cohen, Jordan Howard, tight end Trey Burton, and if Zach Miller comes back from his nasty injury, they'll have another tight end there, Deion Sims, another tight end, and then receiver Taylor Gabriel and Allen Robinson. So the Bears have plenty of weapons for Mitchell Trubisky to perform well this year. But this is his first full season and a first full 16 games, so who knows, he might have some more growing pains, and I think Bears fans and NFL fans in general should fully expect that. But the Bears need to take a step forward and show to their fans that they have a bright future. I think that will happen and it will be because of Mitchell Trubisky and his progress through the year. For the few that watched the final episode of NFL Updates Express until next time, well I surprised you guys. I said I didn't know if I was going to be making another video or not, but I am. It's the Hall of Fame game 2018. I'm excited to bring it to you, but I just wanted to promote my website here, Christian Clark Journalism, and you can find the link in the description. But basically, it's a lot of my work, mostly about writing with my blog. You can also find some other NFL Updates Express episodes on here some of my original photos and a miscellaneous section as well. But the big part here is going to be about my blog, different NFL articles, my personal articles from UNC, and just the rest of my college experience. So hopefully you can check it out.